All right, once again, our four-legged athletes take center stage here at the Classic with the Super Retriever Series. Here's your host, Brent Olson. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, you guys having a good time out here at the Bassmaster Classic? Oh, we're going to have a little fun right now. Yesterday, we had a competition. We got down to the top two dogs. And I've been told from the powers of above that we're going to have a little bit of fun. Here's what we got. We've got Jump from Minn Kota. We've got our two crack hosts sitting out here with two lucky fans that are going to be paired with our top two winners from yesterday. Mr. Tommy Sanders is up in the crowd with a lucky fan. He's going to be paired with Lee Hall and Astro. We've got Mr. Dave Mercer up here. He's going to be paired with Tony Lambert and Baxter. Mr. Dave Mercer, who do you got? I am here with, what, what is your name? My name is Madeline. Madeline, where are you from? Alabama. Madeline, are you excited? Yes. You look like you're going to pee your pants, Madeline. You're jumping up and down. The good news is we don't have to do anything. We have to have, do you like dogs? Huh? Do you like dogs? Yes. Do you have a dog? No. I, I, I like dogs. I'm allergic to dogs, but I still have a dog because my family doesn't care about me. But we don't need to be near these dogs. These dogs over here are going to jump for us. So we're going to win. Who on this side thinks that we're going to win? Wow. Well, I don't know. We were paired with two of the best from yesterday. Mr. Tommy Sanders, who do you have? Well, I'm, I'm fixing to tell you why that side's not going to win. We got Rusty Parker right here. Rusty Parker, who is named after a character from a TV show. Tell us what TV show that was. Ren 10 10. Okay. <laughs> now, who's going to win it? Who do you think's going to win it? A guy who's named after a character on Ren 10 10. Rusty is ready to go. Who are we paired with? You are paired with Mr. Lee Hall and a black lab named Astro. You got one advantage. Both these dogs have world records behind them. So, how about this? We're going to take two jumps apiece. Lee Hall and Astro are going to have two jumps apiece for this team. Tony Lampert and Bax are going to have two jumps for this piece. We're going to add both. We're going to have both those scores added together, and that team is going to win the Men Coda Prize Pack. Let's get this thing going right now. Let's bring Lee Hall and Astro up right now. He, 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 doesn't, he looks confused, Tommy. Come on, come on, let's hear it. We got Rusty Parker. Everybody over here. Putting it all on the line for Astro. This dog took second yesterday, but only lost by four inches. Oh, and Astro got up. How many people on this side want to see this side win? Tough crowd over here, Mercer. We got it over here. Yeah, we know it. I know Madeline's waiting to see her dog. Sit, sit, sit. Here comes Astro. Oh, oh big, oh, yes. huge. Fantastic. Good job. <laughs> yeah. How about this, Rusty? Your dog has a 24 foot even. We get, I think we got it in the back. Two jumps, right? I hope so. Two jumps, that's okay. correct. Madeline, are you ready to see your dog? Yes. All right, let's do it. Tony, are you Lambert guys ready for this? The former world record holder, ladies and gentlemen, three world time record world holder. champion. The champ is here. Oh, Madeline, I'm telling you. That first jump was big. Oh, Tony's pointing at you. He wants some noise. Here, here's why we're gonna win right here. Hold on. We have, you might have Rusty over there. Stand up right here, don't watch this. Look, stand up, sir. We have the one and only Mr. Ray Scott over yeah. here. That's cheating. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three-time world champion. Oh, oh, this is going to be tight. Find out. Oh, 23 foot, 8 inches. Oh. So right now, 
close. We get one more jump. We get one more jump. Oh, Rusty, you getting nervous up there for this prize package? <laughs> no, I'm ready. Astro's got it in the bag. Hey, Lee's for you. Look, Lee's, Lee's all for you. Do what I told you, Lee. All right, first jump at 24 foot, so we're going to add this jump. Whatever the score is, we're going to add it together. Madeline, I don't know if you've seen this, but your dog actually mines better than Rusty's Rin Tin Tin dog. Here we go. Last jump for this prize package. Sit. It's not good. It's not good. Need to test that dog. I think it's on steroids. 22 foot, 10 inches. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We, we can beat that. We can beat that. We won that Makota prize pack over here. We're going to get it, right, guys? Let's hear it. Come on. Cheer, cheer that dog up. What, what, what words of advice do you have for our dog? What, what words of advice do you have for Baxter, our dog? Say, go Baxter. All right. Well, if any dog can pull this off, it's the three-time world champion featured on David Letterman. This dog has been all around the planet. He's been on every channel for one reason. The dog knows how to win. Can he pull this out at the end for Madeline? How many of you guys are ready for this? Let's hear you. Come on, here he likes the noise. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Short. This is gonna be close. 23 foot three inches. Tommy Sanders, you and Rusty are the winners. Oh, what about a Rusty? For the men. Yeah! Whoa, whoa. The Rin Tin Tin connection, baby. Respect it. Boy, here's the deal. Who thinks that Madeline should get a prize pack, anyways? Absolutely. You got it. Let's hear it. What a great day. Thank Minkota for this great prize pack. Both of our contestants getting Minkota prize packs. And we want to thank our incredible dogs. Well, this is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Lamper that you just seen on the dock, even though his dog didn't win for Madeline. Thank you, Madeline. Thank you, Rusty. How about this? How many people want to see Grizz? Baxter's son come up here and try to shatter a world record in the other sport in like the high jump, the vertical, it's called Super B. How many people want to see if this dog can break the world record right now? All right, here's, here's the way the sport is played. We're gonna be placing a bumper off the cliffs, you see them how tall it's getting. They're have to stand on a ladder to get this bumper up here. They're gonna set, he, Tony's gonna set Grizz up at the end of the dock or somewhere probably 15, 20 feet, whatever. The dog has to run, jump up and grab that bumper. The bumper, he doesn't have to grab it in his mouth. As long as that bumper comes off both cliffs and lands in the water, it's considered a catch. We're starting this at eight foot, three inches. Look how high it is above their heads, ladies and gentlemen. This bumper is going to be swung around, hung over the pool. It's going to be eight feet away from the end of the dock, and now it's up at eight foot, three inches. Are you folks ready for this? It's at eight two. That's horrible. I know you guys also want to see some fishing, but we're not going to get any fishing in until we get the dogs done. How many people want to see this? Much better. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's an eight foot two. Eight foot two, okay. It is eight three. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right, now, pay attention. Grizz is Baxter's son, not even two years old yet. The world record right now, ladies and gentlemen, is eight foot, 10 inches. If he catches this, if that bumper comes off, we'll raise it up two more inches and we're gonna keep going. Look at that! All right, 
I've got to make an official announcement. That just shattered the Super Retriever Series record that was held at 7 foot 10. So that right there right now is a Super Retriever Series record. We've never broke 8 foot in the Super Retriever Series until today. Wow. Now we're going to go up two more inches. Unbelievable. You know it's getting up there pretty tall when they got to get on a step ladder to place the bumper. And by the way, it, that dog will have two attempts at every height. So if he misses this right now at eight foot five, he'll come right back up and he has one more attempt to actually try to get it. You have two attempts at each height, but obviously you want to grab it on the first height. If you folks are actually wondering how to get into the sport, find the Super Retriever Series on the Facebook page. Give us a like and you can find information there. Oh, that bumper's up there. They're getting the official measurement. It's kind of like measuring fish, except different. Sort, sort of different. I was saying, measuring fish, measuring the bumper. That'd be a long, large mouth, eight foot, five inches. Eight, five. eight foot, five inches, here we go. I want to see the world record fall today. Eight foot, 10 is the record. We're at eight foot, five inches for a dog that's not even two. And last year at the Bass Classic, how many people, how many people here were at the Classic last year in Tulsa. How many people actually were watching us last year? Well, believe it or not, this dog did not even jump last year. He didn't even know the sport. At one year, oh, missed it by a mile. But I promise you, Grizz right now, there's a lot of stuff going on in that, that dog's head. He knows, what, he knows what just happened. He's like, I didn't get it, did I, Dad? So he's going to get out of the pool, come right back up. Now you watch Grizz, completely different. He was completely off stride. Nothing right there worked when we raised it up two more inches. Tony's going to reset. You watch that dog figure this out. You're looking at one of the best dogs on the planet. Actually, he is the best dog on the planet. Tony's got away in the Super V and the Superfly competition have just been dominating here lately. Big Chris. Hi. The official rules for the world record, he has to grab the bumper right now. It has to come off both cliffs, at least hit the water. All right. I've been told he can do this in practice, piece of cake. Eight foot, five inches, second and final attempt for Grizz. Oh, oh, how about this? Ladies and gentlemen, we know he didn't get the world record. How many people want to at least see him come up there and at least try to get it? I know the dog can get it. We've already seen it. All right, I think that was pretty convincing. I think everybody wants to see the dog get an eight foot five. If any of you folks have ever seen us on TV, it... It's, it's unbelievable watching how people are training for this. You will very seldom see a dog ever go over seven foot eight, seven ten. I mean, no way. Seeing a dog right now, what Grizz is doing at this seven foot, I mean, the eight foot five mark, the eight foot three, is unbelievable. And right now, the Malinois and the Labrador Retrievers kind of have the market in this jumping deal. But once again, it doesn't matter what kind of dog you have. Obviously, you're not going to get a little shih tzu to jump up there, but you can try it. All right, this is just for fun, ladies and gentlemen. Eight foot five. How many people want to see this? We need some noise.
Wow. What do you guys say? Should we raise it up two more inches? Wow. I'm talking. Well, that was amazing. All right. What's, what's bad about this is you just can't go for the, the world record, inches, but we got to have a little bit of fun. He's gonna measure. He's gonna go up two inches and, two and, and I know the crowd is definitely behind Grizz right now. We're going to eight foot seven inches. Oh, that is way up there. I'm talking that is up there. And I know Mr. Ray Scott's still in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Give Mr. Ray Scott, the founder of Bass, a big round of applause. If it wasn't for Mr. Ray Scott, ladies and gentlemen, he come up with this crazy fishing game. I'm telling you what, he enhanced it, and it is what it is today because of that man right there. Thank you, Mr. Ray. All right, eight foot seven inches, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I mean, you guys are witnessing something that you'll probably never see again. Every now and then you'll see it on TV, but you're not going to see a dog ever, hardly ever go for eight foot seven. Here it is. The unbelievable. I think Grizz has it figured out. I think he knows. Uh-oh, it's going up. Well, I'm not going to screw this up. All right, while well, everybody's filing in the stands, I mean, we've got a lot of people in the house. Very few seats left. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. How many people want to see Grizz get this? All right, the first of the two attempts. Eight foot seven. Oh, missed it. The Grizz is like, oh, I missed her again. I have been just told, ladies and gentlemen, for all you folks that are sitting up, up top, they have opened the doors up for down below. So if you folks want to move, go ahead and come down. The doors are open down here. Come on down, get closer. It's going to be, you got a lot better view. But they, they have opened the doors up. So everybody's sitting up on top. We've got plenty of seating down here on the bottom. I see the upper stands are almost full. You guys come down. We got plenty of room down here. You guys come on down. Get closer to this action. All right, here it is. Eight foot seven. Final attempt. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, give Tony Lampert and Grizz a big round of applause. He did grab eight foot five. How about this? You know, those bass boats are really fast, right? I mean, we're watching these guys come across the water. Those bass boats are flying. They're sitting with the 250 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. How about this? How about watching a couple fast dogs? Let's have a little drag racing of our own. We got a couple dogs over there do a little drag racing. Let's bring him up. As soon as he gets off, let's get a couple dogs up here. And let's just see who's the fastest swimmer out to a bumper. All right, we're bringing the dogs up. They're swinging it around. One last time. If the doors are open down below. So if you guys want to move, come on down. We got plenty of time before the weigh-in. If you guys want to move, get close to the action. We still got a lot of seats down here in the bottom. Come on down. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a little drag racing of our own. Do you think these bass boats are fast? Well, they're trying to get to a certain point. Well, we're going to get to a certain point. Bill Helper's going to get up here, throw the bumper, and I'd say, which chocolate's going to win? You know, it'd be a lot funner if you actually brought a black lab up. Here we go, Heel. ladies and gentlemen. The drag race to the bumper. Here he goes. And they're up. Oh, what? The dog that took off first. They're going. They're going. The fastest back to the ramp. Going to win. 
Wow, that was fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys coming out watching the dogs. We're going to the fishing. You guys ready for a little fishing? Thank you for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to